There is a growing question if LED lights can run solar cells. And how we answer that question is to do experiments. Most people are running all over the internet instead of just doing simple little tests to find out for themselves. So, again, the father of over unity has done these tests for years. And yes, solar cells can, solar lights or LED lights can run solar cells. Now, the question was on how efficient they are. And sometimes efficiency gets in the way of progress. See, solar cells are going to become more efficient over time. LED lights are going to become more efficient over time. But in order for you to understand, you must do these experiments. Let's try doing these little experiments to see for yourself. Let's look over here. We have LED lights. We have a 5 volt, five volt battery. So, the reason why we use this is because we want to know the exact power that this is consuming. Okay? Now, we know that this is, doesn't put out one amp. And I've done measures this many, many times before. And it says one amp. If I can get that back focused. Of course. But it doesn't give out one amp. About 400 milliamps. Okay? So. We can see two LED lights. They're glowing dim. And the reason why the light is on is because no light is getting into it or not enough light to turn the light off. So, how much light do you need to turn this light off? That's how this is designed. This is a dollar store LED light. Okay? And I let it run to the light is down dim. So let's turn off the light to see how dim they are. Okay, so we see that. Now, we're going to look at this light because it is the dimmest out of both of them and we're going to put them on side by side here let's get a good shot here and this light because it's a bigger solar cell compared to this one let's set that side by side so you can see that it's just a slightly bigger so, this one puts out more light. And this one barely can see the light. So let's get both that in the shot again. And you can see the difference in the lights. So, what's the experiment? Let's plug this in. See if I can, let me plug this in. Okay, we're going to plug this in here. And we got the LED lights on. We're going to put that right over to this. And we're going to keep that one off. So, now we can compare if this one is going to actually charge and get brighter. Okay. So, let's... We see that they're both off. So, well, one of them's glowing. Now look at that. You can tell the difference. Okay? You can tell the difference. And right away it's starting to dim. But you can tell the difference. Now they're about the same. 
Let's do that one more time. This light, you can barely see it. This one is off. So one is receiving light. Let's unplug it. Was we'll compare and look at that. Okay. So this is how we do our experiments. Can LED lights run this? Yes. So let's do a few more experiments because people compare on what type of lights this type of lights and these are special LED lights okay that's why I say you have to know what kind of LED lights the lumens and how much it puts out okay to see if this is going to be successful okay so let's go do a test using this as a light meter okay first the light down here okay so let's take this remember this is on so it's not enough light going in this to actually turn off so let's see if we put it up here and the light is off that means this light bulb which is an LED light has enough light to turn this off if I put my hand over it let's see it turns on if I do that it goes back off okay now let's go measure a couple of more lights okay we're in our kitchen and we're looking at this LED light here and we're bringing the LED to see if it will turn off. And we're going to put it right over the top of this thing. And the light is not turning off. So if we look at it, it was like, hey, this is giving plenty of light in here. But the LED light is not strong enough to turn off that light. This is the type of light people see in the videos. Okay. But it's a dim brown light. It will not turn. Wait, we, we got it turning off. Look at this. Turn on. Oh, no. We had it just right. And it won't turn. Oh, there it is. We got it just right. Just pushing it in. It's just turning off and on. Okay. See, it's staying on. That means the battery is not charging but if we get it just right it's just barely enough that's the efficiency that we are talking about okay so we'll come back to that later this light is for growing plants will it yes and you don't even have to be close it turns off that light immediately that battery is now charging don't matter how you measure it, how many lumens, this battery is now charging. So, let's see. Let's pull back. Pull back. How far can we get away before it comes, the light comes back on? Look at that. Okay, let's aim it down. And it comes back on. There it is. Okay. So. That light. Has plenty. Of luminums. To run. This LED light. Okay. If it will grow a plant. Which a regular light will not grow a plant. The plants will die. This has to be. A special kind of light. Okay. So keep that in mind. Let's test this LED light. Okay. That LED light. Look at it. How it turns off and on. So this is barely enough power. To keep that light. Turned on. Even though it's the same color. As the LED light. That we use. Oh, see it's turning off. It's charging. 
that is not charging. It is running from the battery. But if we get it just right, there we go. That is now charging the batteries. So this is what we're talking about efficiency. Now, let's turn on the actual light and see. Look at that. And that's a brownish light. It turns off and it is running that battery. It's charging it right up. So this is enough light. That is enough light. So, we use this as a light meter. It tells you how much power you uh, or much light is efficient enough to run the LED and charge the light. And you can tell the brightness of the how much. Now, if you want to put it on a meter, you'll know exactly the number how much. But we can say in a rough estimate, this light got brighter because energy went into the battery. So that's what you can use that for. Dollar store uh, garden light. Okay. So let's test a few more things. Okay. We're standing in front of my TV to test. Look at that. It works. Let's go into a dark area. It's back on. So it's not charging the battery. Let's go. And it's charging the battery. So the light from my TV, the white areas, and the dark areas, we'll see if this blue. Nice. Let's go into different colors. No. Yes. No. Yes. So the red turns it off. The black in the middle turns it back, turns it uh, back to not charging. The light is on and the light is off. So it's charging. Green. Uh-oh. It's off. So it's charging that battery. So, that works. Let's see something else. Okay, let's find out if my tablet can now charge this LED light, which is the battery in there, okay? And um, why are we doing this? Because we know that the tablet runs on five volts. That means you charge the tablet with one amp, five volts to charge the battery let's see and the light is out that battery is now charging the charging is off because the light is on that is charging let's see black area white area black area white area let's get a little closer black area white area black area white area okay these are my digital books that I talk about all the time writing in them and doing these types of tests okay so, stop listening to people who think they know what can be and what can't be. Simple little this test that you can do will dispel all that. Now, what's give you the answer on this? If I run a 5 volt LED going through this, which this experiment, this one, this actually runs on less than 5 volts. Okay, even though you plug it into a 5 volt source, it runs on less than 5 volts. Okay, so again, how efficient, how much energy can you actually get out of here? You lose about 1% of its efficiency. 
So that means that these things will pull out three volts and maximum sunlight. But the LED lights will pull two volts and some change. That's testing. That's what we do here. We're testing it. So now we know what LED lights can do. So because we're doing it, because we're spending lots of money building these things and the LED lights to test them and hook them into our grid, that lets you know who's telling the truth. Okay? Let the naysayers be naysayers. Go out, get you one of these LED lights and start finding out what will turn off this light and charge this battery? Okay? Now, you should have a couple more questions. If this 5 volts can charge this LED light, which we seen, and the length of cords that you get, okay? Means how many of these, when you take it apart, can you put on top of this LED light. That's the reason why we make things like that. Because this side and the side you don't see because it's an open display. Okay. That's two. Two sides. One light. That covers the efficiency loss. Is It should be made like this. So the light going through there. If it shines on one side like a regular solar light, it's efficient because it's got regular sunlight. But then if you double the solar top and bottom, you get that efficiency back. Five volts. You know it'll work. Start experimenting. Stop looking for answers from people who have not done these experiments okay it's a simple answer I'm the father over unity and I'm out